referred to as controversial. But mostly his clients and other artists refer to him as a bold and revolutionary artist, if you may. His name is Michael Soy, and as you can see in my hands, I have a piece that he calls the diva. The lady in this painting is holding a microphone, ready to belt her hat out. As you can see, it's also a very colorful piece. This describes his work. Well, my work is a uh, social commentary, mm -hmm. which is work that is influenced by the things that I see and observe. Right now, I'm doing a lot of work that revolves around commercial sex work. Mm -hmm. and, um, I mean, I find it interesting. Would you say it's a healthy interest? Say, there's an artist out there who focuses on flowers, on cars, on nature, for example. Mm -hmm. Why is it that Michael Soy's brand is associated with controversial issues in society? So, it's due to the fact that, I mean, I don't believe I'm this kind of artist who does beautiful art. Mm -hmm. I don't want to kind of like, you know, do sunsets, I don't want to do flowers, I just want to address issues mm -hmm. that affect Kenyans on a day-to-day -day basis. Mm -hmm. And uh, I consciously basically chose this kind of like topics because I knew, in a way there was uh, not so much information going around about what was really happening, I mean, especially in a city like Nairobi at night. Mm -hmm. So mine is basically to tell a pictorial story about issues that affect society and you know. So I've noticed you use your left hand. Mm -hmm. Some time mm -hmm. back people used to be beaten up because you know <laughs> it was considered a curse but it clearly it's very artistic. You should know the story behind that. Once upon a time I was right handed. I think I was in class mm -hmm. two or three. Mm -hmm. I fell down and broke my arm. Mm -hmm. I broke my right arm. Okay. So, I was uh -huh. very happy because I knew that if I go to school, uh -huh. I will not be writing, I will just be playing with cluster scene and... <laughs> so the teacher clobbered me to write with my left hand until I became left-handed. Oh, okay, that's uh, the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> and it said that most creative people use their... actually left-handed. It really doesn't matter what hand you use, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. What matters is basically, at the end of it all, what comes out of it. Okay. I mean, mostly... I mean, a lot of what I do is that, I mean, you look at it, mm -hmm. and uh, basically what you see is what you get, you know, because, I mean, I try as much as possible yeah. to make it very, 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 very simple. Why the bold lines? Why the vibrant colors? And what's I mean, it's just, a, it's just a painting technique that I kind of like, you know, I want to basically like make the person stand out or the subject to stand out. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, this is just a technique that I employ. That's your technique? Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. And what materials do you use? 90% uh, of all the work I do is acrylic on canvas. Yeah. Acrylic mixed medium canvas. Okay. Yeah. Is it readily available? Yes, it is. Cheap? Oh, uh, no. Not cheap. Not at all. So there you have it. A day in the life of an artist, a visual artist who is quite interesting, if I might say so myself, and uh, whose work is uh, revolutionary, controversial, but like he says, it's a social commentary. Till next time, I'm your host, Valentine Ziki.